Hey guys, this is Rohit and I am back with the second part of the Cocoa Pods tutorial. If you haven't seen the first part yet, go and check it out, here is the link. In this video, we will add some features to our library and see how we can update our Cocoa Pods. So, in the last video, we made a library that puts a done button on keyboard for a text field or text view. A done button would dismiss our keyboard but that alone will not be enough for a scenario where our text field or text view is in the lower half of the screen. Because in that scenario, our text field or text view will be hidden behind our keyboard and we will not be able to see what we are typing. Let me show you the issue by making some changes in our storyboard. We have added one more text field and text view in the bottom area of the view controller and switched on the accessory. Now let's run the project. As you can see now, the bottom text field and text view hide behind the keyboard and we are not able to see what we type there. So, to address this scenario, we will add a feature to shift our view upwards if the text field or text view is in the lower half of the screen. These are the steps that we will follow. May the force be with you. So, let's get started. Let me open our Gdun keyboard and paste the solution to the problem we are facing. This video is not focused on the code, but it is more about how you would update your library and release it for public use. Anyways, I have commented my code to make it self-explanatory and you can check it out on the GitHub repo. Start and share it if you like it, fork it if you want to add more to it. Now, to use the functionality, you just have to import the library in the view controller you want it to work and call the RGDUN keyboard on self. You can set the dismiss on tap as true and that's it. Let's try and run the project now and see if it works. Dismiss on tap also works and the view goes up for the elements that would otherwise be hidden. Moving on, let's update the pod spec file and set the version to 1.0.0. We are done with the first step, now in the second step we will validate our pod with podliblint. It will take some time so I'll just fast forward this step. And we have passed validation. Let us now add and commit the changes just like that. In the last video we made a release directly on github website. This time we will do the tagging part from terminal like that and then we push the tags to the remote. To know more about tags you can visit this link. It will give you an in-depth knowledge on tags. Let us now go to our github repo. We have done the tagging part but we still have to make the latest release point to the latest tag. For that, we will draft a new release and enter the tag version. GitHub will show you the tags already available and you can just select the tag you recently pushed. Then we just add the release title and publish this release. Now we are done with this part and finally we will push the pod spec file to trunk. It will take time again so I'll just fast forward it. And there we have it. Congrats, we have updated our library with a new release. Hope this helps you guys. Please like this video, share it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.